Hey bookworms, I've just finished Delicate Condition by Danielle Valentine. Overall, Delicate Condition was just okay for me. I struggled to get into it. I felt annoyed and frustrated with the slow unfolding of the story until about three quarters of the way through. The whole, is it paranoia or not, got to be a bit tedious. But when things became clearer about most of the way through, the real mystery began unraveling, and it was very intriguing. The book didn't strike me as particularly unique. It felt like a retread of Rosemary's Baby. Personally, not much resonated with me, as it was difficult to empathize with the main character's experiences of pregnancy, fame, or paranoia. But I'm sure it's made some impact on readers. Fans of American Horror Story might enjoy this book, especially with this book as the source material for AHS. Delicate, spoiler warning, if you don't want any plot details revealed, stop listening now. Here's a three second countdown. Three, two, one, you've been warned, spoilers ahead. The plot follows Anna Alcott, a former teen star, and her husband Dex Harding as they navigate IVF treatments and a series of unsettling events. Anna starts missing appointments, medicines get misplaced, and she feels constantly watched. It turns out her husband Dex is having an affair with Cora, the clinic's receptionist, who's been sabotaging Anna's pregnancy efforts. Anna then discovers a coven of witches, including her best friend Siobhan, who have been influencing her pregnancy through dark magic. As Anna's pregnancy progresses, she experiences hallucinations and bizarre cravings. The climax reveals that the coven resurrected Anna's miscarried baby, but Siobhan had to sacrifice herself for the spell to work. The baby is born with a mysterious red handprint, indicating her supernatural origin. Siobhan, soul and memories then take root in the baby, essentially reincarnating Siobhan. Ultimately, it's a story about trust, betrayal, and the lengths one will go to for motherhood. If you're a fan of American Horror Story, you might find this blend of psychological thriller and body horror right up your alley.